dumb but is here to entertain you. It is just so unfortunate that ever since the Senzo Meiwa's case has actually come wholeheartedly on social media and people wanting to get the entire truth, Kelly Kumalo has definitely been on the lips of several people as they believe that she is actually doing a lot of wrong behind the scenes. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how Kelly Kumalo is being accused, blamed of having sloughed sloughed with Becky Nele, and of course, because of this, she has been trolled, dragged and insulted on the same media. As well, this same Minister of Police Becky Nele is actually into huge trouble after Cyril Maposa actually did what he did. Do well to watch this video right up to the end. Before spilling out the entire details to you all, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel please, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. Controversial singer Kelly Kumalo, who actually now stands as being accused of dishing out some sweet sloft sloft to police minister Becky Nele as a form of bribe. Kelly Kumalo has had so much trolls and dragons already from social media and ever since advocate Malisela Tefo started making some daring allegations about her, her whole lifestyle has definitely changed. She even works with bodyguards now because she is hated, in fact currently the most hated South African celebrity for reasons best known to some people who hate her. Kelly Kumalo has had enough of Advocate Tefo already. This includes Advocate Tefo's claims that Kelly Kumalo had some intimacy, had some intercourse with Police Minister Becky Nele to cover up her involvement in the Senzo Meiwa case. Describing the trial as a circus with Advocate Tefo at Helm, Kelly Kumalo called the defense attorney representing four of the five men back in the days accused for the footballers claiming of life to be highly abusive already. On the latest episode of Kelly Kumalo's reality show, which was released sometime on August, the singer said that Advocate Malisela Tefo claims are all false and that she has never had anything to do, especially as far as intimacy is concerned with Minister of Police Becky Nele. But still, it feels like so many fans were very much happy and excited as far as these claims and allegations are concerned because, to tell you all the truth, Kelly Kumalo has really never been that one person who is loved and appreciated by South Africans. Of course, there is something really strange that is happening already as far as Becky Nele's life is concerned. Do you all actually even know that there is some bad news for him? Police Minister of South Africa since February 2018, Becky Hamilton Nele. For two years, they commanded the South African Police Service as National Commissioner till he was definitely removed in June 2012 following a suspicion in October 2011 on allegations of misconduct. A number of groups and political parties have asked President Ramaphosa to replace Police Minister Becky with someone more radical and capable of keeping the country safe. Thus, this time in office is a very crucial time and of course, he might as well be fired. Nobody knows. We all know that Nele has enemies already. Groups like Operation Dudula and Put South Africans first accuse him of shielding foreigners, which is why they oppose him. However, the National Shelter Movement of South Africa has recently joined them as well, meaning his position is really and highly at risk. A prominent member of the National Shelter Movement in South Africa, Fusani Malangu, told Newsroom Africa some time ago that the group plans to send President Ramaphosa an open letter telling him to fire Minister of Home Affairs, Becky Nele, because he is incompetent and the people of South Africa are suffering as a result of his missteps. She was pressed on just which crucial fronts Minister Nele had fallen short. She stated, and I quote, Failure to account. We see him on many platforms where he comes to the stage and says, A really horrible crime has transpired. He's usually on the scene after a crime occurs, yet he never seems to do anything concrete like making arrest respect to what actually occurred.
For instance, the minister actually visited Google Drop to address the situation, but he made extremely risky remark that a victim of high level of ill treatment and GBV was definitely broken and taken aback by social media. You will tell me what you think about everything set around Bekinlele. Do you think he actually slept with Kelly and do you think he should be fired?